Welcome to Seattle Public Utilities Ask Evelyn Live, where we answer your questions about recycling, compost, garbage, and other trashy topics. I'm your host, Becca Fong, and this week we've got some more tips for reducing single use stuff when you're going to send your kids to camp. So, you know, summer is coming. I promise people it's coming. I know it's cold out there. But life is really going to start ramping up as school wraps up, our kids are going out, we're on vacations, day camps around the corner, and life is on the go. So we are going to give you a few more tips about how to deal with all of the packaging that comes with sending your kids out to camp, and then also all of the fantastic, amazing art pieces that come back with them, because it takes a little bit of work to manage all of that chaos. So, and of course, Pat is here to join in the trash talking every week. Hey, Pat. Hey, Becca. How's it going? Happy summer. Almost. Yeah, well, I know. Happy summer, right? I swear. It is. It will be sunny, people. I promise. It's coming. Yep. <laughs> We're going to get there. Yeah. For sure. So, you know, for today's edition of S'more Tips for reducing our single-use waste, Pat, we've got a really good question. That's just perfectly timed for right now. All right. Well, I'll jump right into it then. Here's the question. Uh, hi, Evelyn. My kids are headed for day camp next week. And the amount of trash that both goes out in the packed snacks for lunches and comes back as art projects are my least favorite parts of summer camp. Do you have any ideas for how to cut down on waste from both ends? Thanks. And this comes to us from Glenn. Quick answer for Glenn, Becca. Absolutely. Really good question. I have that. For those of you who watch, I have this situation in my life as well. So I think for the single use packaging, very similar for, you know, for when they're going to school is that try to buy in bulk and just avoid prepackaged snacks. I feel like it's really convenient and you can certainly use them every once in a while. But if you figure out a way to even eliminate one of those things by using a reusable container, that's going to really help a lot. Yeah. And then the second part is we talk a lot of artwork comes on paper, right? And so if it's just paper, totally recyclable when there's some mixed materials, which we'll get into here in a second. Um, there's a couple more guidelines that we can give you. So Pat, let's get into the details. Well, you know, the thing about art projects, and really this is for summer camp and really any time of year, is to try and keep it simple. Um, you yeah. know, if you're, if you're a camp counselor out there tuning in today, oh, there's a nice one. See, that's just some, some ink and paper. We're talking like that's very uh, summer campy looking yes. and uh, it's, it's a robin it's backwards it's, but yeah. Uh, yeah I can see that it's a robin um, so that's the kind of that's the kind of artwork that of course will fit into your recycle bin and if it was glued of course yeah that's a keeper though that's a keeper there <laughs> it's not a um, but if there was you know some pasted on material like some leaves and twigs right. and some different you know pine cones or things like that then, then you're getting into, you know, multi-material artwork, which is totally crafty. Yep, totally fun summer camp stuff. And if you stay in the space of like just, man, that's, that's quite the constructed item there. Um, if you stay in that space of simple materials, organic, meaning, you know, plant-based materials, and just Elmer's glue or paste, yep. not, not like a glue gun, try to stay away from those, you know, polyethylene, whatever glues and things. If you stay in that space of like, Elmer's glue and paste, then it's still compostable. That's just totally. a little bit of adhesive. It's not like we want to be pouring our Elmer's glue into the compost bin, but when there's a little bit of glue behind a bunch of pine cones on paper, then we're okay. You know, with kindergartners and first graders, the little bit of glue, that's, that's all, there's a moving like, you know, amount of material there, I think. But with yeah. the older kids, you know, they don't, they don't overdo it. So uh, they get to, they start to recognize resource, you know, uh, conservation a little bit and they don't want to little bit use up all their glue but so that's the idea is like in the in the camp craft space just keeping it simple keep yep. it natural if you can and then when you move into the artsy like paints and inks and things no glitter no foil no, no plastic pieces or bits yep. you know this isn't the recreation project this is more summer camp outdoor school kind of stuff right. so you got you know if you can if you don't bring all that stuff to the camp, then it's not going to end up on the artwork. So that's, that's where the message goes out to the camp counselors out there. You know, keep it organic. Keep it simple. Totally. I mean, there and there is, you know, full, there's a whole range of activities that yeah. are going to come into kids' lives. 
And I have had many like melted plastic bead projects and like plastic strands. And we talked about this before with our gift wrap edition, actually, you know, you mentioned kind of That's glitters great. and things like that yeah. for recycling. The value in the paper is in the paper. It's not in all the additives, yeah. right? So that's the majority of the projects that you're going to bring home that can go in the recycle bin is if they're mostly paper. Um, right. A lot of the plastic items, I would just go ahead and throw those in the trash because mm -hmm. a lot of those are kind of mixed plastic materials because we take containers, bottles, and jugs. Those are the things that we yeah. take. And that's the easiest right. way to sort that. So, Hopefully that is helpful. And then when it comes to packing snacks, like Pat and I are all about yeah. snacking. Like you gotta have snacks, you gotta have food, but using reusable- Little trail mix. Yeah. I mean, buying bulk is great. Trail mix comes in so many different varieties. Totally. Uh, trail snacks, all kinds of snacks come in bulk. Bulk bins are great for this kind of stuff or for just the, the finger food for the kids, you know. Using these reusable containers, these snap top jobs, they're great. Totally. The smaller versions of this, of course, I kind of, you know, I go for the bulk. bulk. <laughs> um, but I think uh, those kind of reusable containers and bulk foods, you just, you're eliminating, you're avoiding all the packaging altogether when you go that totally. route. So. Totally. And actually with containers, like you can have like, here's kind of a bit of a fancy one. It's got two little compartments in it. Yeah. You do not have to have the fancy container. We've had this right. for a number of years, which is great. But this is actually one of my favorite ones that my kids really like. This is actually a yogurt container. Oh, And it's a small nice. one. I've actually run it through the dishwasher. We buy like the giant box of goldfish um, at my house <laughs> because my kids yeah. love the fishes. Right. Um, and we'll just put it in this container, right? Which was free because we bought yogurt. Mm -hmm. We kept it. So there's lots of containers around your house that are just the perfect size too. So that'll just go right into their backpacks or their lunch sacks and they're ready to go. I think it also kind of helps the kids learn the, you know, that sort of one of the many golden rules of camping and outdoors uh, experiences is pack it in, pack it out. You know, yeah. when you bring a reusable container, they're not gonna look, if it's in a disposable container, they're gonna look for a garbage can and they're gonna look for a place to discard the item. When they know it's a for real container that mom or dad gave me for my lunch pail, then you're gonna bring it home. And that's what we wanna, and still in our children is this value of, you know, reuse and, and not, and, you know, move away from the single use packaging space as much as we can. I mean, there's, you know, as much as you can. There's, there's, you know, and we're not going to guilt people. We're not, that's not what this space is all about. We're just, we're trying to suggest ideas to go into this space uh, and to be, you know, be a better camper. Um, but, uh, but, you know, if there's single use, you know, cheese sticks or, you know, uh, various types of all of ours. individual, those are fine. Those are small wrappers, you know, but uh, again, the, the, the bulk foods and the prepared foods, the sandwiches, you know, made at home and such, but those can go forward, not in a baggie, not in a, you know, purchasing a product to use once and then toss. Yeah. It's like what we're trying to combat here. It's like if you're purchasing products that are single packed already and that's convenient for you, then, then that's, you know, different than what we're talking about. Definitely. So quick recap, Glenn, is that for containers and stuff, definitely like look at what you got around your house. Yep. Reusable containers for your food. You can buy it in bulk. That's a great way to do it. Pat's always got a mess kit too. You guys all know that I have one as well because we're never going to miss an eating opportunity. Um, but, you know, single use stuff, like individually wrapped stuff, that just happens. That's life, right? That's yep. very real. And then for the artwork, you know, definitely if it's got like, you know, these sticks and this, we're going to treasure this for a long time. But when it's ready to go. Right. Something like this could go in the compost, even with a little bit of glue on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then for recyclable items, of course, this one is a fantastic little piece that we're going to enjoy for a long time as well. But when we're ready to let it go, this can go in the recycling because it's mainly paper. So those are really the things that you want to keep your eyes out for. So, and you know, the other thing I want to mention back about camp and summer camp yeah. and, and, you know, even back to school is the cool new backpack is not necessary. You know, the, 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 the multi-pocketed vest or whatever. I mean, you know, basically what I'm getting at is try not to purchase a bunch of more products and items for the right. children just to go to camp. The camp is the experience of being at the camp. It's not what they're wearing or carrying. It's not what, you know, it's not necessary to have the latest and greatest and all this stuff. Um, so keeping it simple, shopping, you know, thrift or Goodwill, if you want to get a different item, give them that a shot first before you go buy brand new. Yep. You know, we're just trying to reduce, reduce the, really the production and consumption overall so so wait pat are you telling me that life is simpler with less stuff i've heard it said before yes i i think it's an important thing 
Yeah. I've heard it somewhere too, right. for sure. Glenn, thank you right. so much for your question. And for all of you who are watching, keep those questions coming. This show runs on your questions. So yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or you can send us an email at askevelyn at seattle.gov. So I do want to have you guys know that we have a quick reminder. We have one of our collection events coming up, reuse, recycling, collection event. It's essentially all the stuff we pick up from special item pickup. And we also pick up paint at this event and paper for shredding. It is in partnership with the University of Washington. We'll be at the main campus right off Brooklyn Avenue. We're going to have all of the information in a link um, below our show. But you can always look stuff up at seattle.gov slash utilities slash beyond the cart. Um, uh -huh. That's going to be really great. Recology is our main partner. They're going to be the host for the day. So all of you who are close to the U District, if you've got appliances, batteries, bulbs, gas canisters, reusable household goods, styrofoam, paint, paper for shredding, bring it on down. They're going to be wow. there this Saturday. Yeah, they're okay, doing you're a lot. all of them. This right. is like this is a full serve yeah. collection event. This yeah. isn't just partial. This is, it sounds like you're collecting all the special items. We are. We're we're taking a lot of That's stuff. Great. Nothing super big, but we're taking a lot. So come sure. on down and visit us at that event. We're going to be taking a break from those events during the summer after this one, and then we'll bring you back a couple in the fall. So all those right. of you who are moving in your district, see if any if you've got any of those things, and come and visit us. All right. Well, folks, that's been another really great show. And thank you all for tuning in and definitely keep those questions coming. And we will see you again next week. And with that, for, for some more Ask Evelyn. For some more Ask Evelyn. And with that, I'm Becca Fong. And life is simpler with less stuff. Yes, it is. And I'm Becca Hoffman. Remember to recycle right. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.